Hello everyone, Asterburn here, coming on one, I'm going to do another review. Uh, right now, um, it is Christmas Eve, moving to Christmas, and this video, I want to post this video after Christmas, because I already did two, um, uh, reviews before Christmas. So, um, hopefully everyone out there did, had their fun on their holidays, and kept themselves safe. So, um, now we're going to 2004, or 14, 2004, Jesus. I'm way behind. 2014. So let's hopefully this new uh, year has some good deeds with it. All right. So I got a lot of reviews to do. I am so behind on everything, especially requests. I'll do. I'm sorry if it's taking forever for your requests. I got some two brand new Ninja Turtle toys for right now. So I'm gonna review them as well. And um, if you're new to my page. Uh, fight, Fighter Corners is where I get my turtle toys. They have everything else. Anime, anything you want. Uh, here's their, um, the address, how to get to that place. Facebook them, give them a call, and ask them what you're looking for. And they'll do their best to give what you want. And if you want, they could, they could complete it for you, your series, and your toys, um, accessories. So, uh, yeah, give them a call or check them out. Write to them. Alright, so we're going to do throw and battle. Donatello. Alright, here it is. Uh, we went to Target today, and I was not expecting to see anything else new because, you know, everything's all repeats or everyone's late or whatever. But I came across this, and there was a Leonardo only. I didn't see no Mikey or Raph in there. But the whole place was dessert, you know, everything was gone. So, it looks like he's wearing a hoodie. It's supposed to be ripped, but I didn't paint the shit on the back. Wearing his hoodie. Yes, this is attached to it, people. Does not come off. Jeez. Guessing this piece is supposed to be painted or something. Head is a little bit different, but at least they don't repeat it. And it has two bow staffs. There you go, 13. Firecon. So this is what it is. It's like, to me, when I was playing with it, it reminds me of this. You know, the one I could do the backflips and everything, the ninja action. I'll put the two links. I did this one and the, old, uh, the new version also, the 2K one. I'll put those links underneath this so you guys can check that out. But yeah, this came by surprise and not I was not expecting this whatsoever. Um, it's both staff bands. Like that. Has a little wire in it to pause right out. Alright, so here's the front cover. It's totally different. So you're supposed to throw it to pause right out. I think it makes me kind of nervous because I don't like to throw my toys, but since this is what it's supposed to do, yeah, no. And it comes with instruction of what you're supposed to do, so. Yeah. And just type them together like that, and I guess just drop it and pop it right back up. Uh, hopefully yours battles your um, turtle thing because of the instructions. And then of course here's the back piece. That's what it looks like. But I wonder if this is like a error because it shows Raphael instead of Donatello. Because those of you who remember my older re review. Uh, one with um, it was the fast forward triple strike, and instead of how Michelangelo it had Raphael on it, and that was kind of a, that was a blooper right there. So uh, I should look this up and see if it's supposed to be Raph or it's supposed to be Donatello. And of course, this thing, little booklet, for sure. There's nothing really new in this one. 
because we need to get the throw bells in it already. So yeah, it comes out, but it comes with that. But there's nothing really new behind that. So, I guess we could try... Now, I don't know if I want to throw him or just... I don't know. Makes me nervous. And then they got this thing right here. It's all loose. I'm not sure it's supposed to like go in. Or what. This is my first time trying this out. So, people, 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 please bear with me. So, uh, let's try it. Alright. Let me put this camera somewhere. Alright, so. Yeah. Okay, so you lift up. You lift it up. Does that. I mean, I don't hear it lock up or anything like that, so. Does that. But I'm so curious what's the whole pur purpose behind this thing. I mean, it's. Does, if you own one, does, is your loose too? I mean, it doesn't sound broken. I mean, instruction doesn't say anything about, like, oh, you can't do this, can't do that. I mean, that's pretty much it right there. Like that. I mean, if you guys could handle this piece right here, then, yeah, this is pretty, pretty cool. But if you can't, then I want to recommend it. But... Alright, so, I'm guessing it's supposed to go like this, and then I drop it, nope, <laughs> nope, I guess it's supposed to be like, Whoa. I guess it went on like that. So you're supposed to throw it, but I don't want to throw it. Oh, look at that! It worked! Look at it. Ta-da! Now what? Is that it? Hello? It's a wire? Whoa! Because you know when you have this, you hear this, this uh, sucker cup into it. Like this, if you hear it. So you have a sucker cup. That's how you know it could flip, and then the other one has like a little timer wire thing on it, and then it just fires out. But with this thing... Oh, okay, I get it. Okay, this is what it does. When it locks up like this, you throw it down. The belt right here is what triggers it to go open. Alright, so okay, watch. Like that. So that's why it's like this. Okay, now it makes sense. Like I said, this is my first time actually trying this out to show you what how this works. So okay, grab this piece, the back part, lock it up. See, it needs to lock up. There it goes. Like that. And when you, like I said, when you drop it, the belt actually would move it out. So like that. Okay. Some of you are probably like, well, you had instruction right next to you. Why don't you read that? I don't do instructions, man. No. It's not all right. Not like this. And then... So it does land on its feet, people. I don't know what I was thinking about earlier, but, the other, but that, but... Yeah. Ah! <laughs> People next door are probably getting mad. Alright, one more time. See, ta da! So, this is actually quite cool. Dropped on top of your foot soldiers and bounces right into you, right into them. Um, according to this, it doesn't have really anything painted differently. Cause you know these are supposed to be the original demos, but like I said, the staff actually move up, they bend it, so 
can move the arms. You can't do too much of the arms. Sad or like or just like that. You can move the head. Of course, you can move the legs. Man, my neighbors are probably like, "What is all that banging noises?" Ah! Whoa! <laughs> I'm having too much fun with this thing. So like this, this is what it's supposed to look like, and this thing, which I don't know, someone's gonna see some remark, is the trigger. Oh, it's supposed to land its feet, but it does land its feet. I don't know if you want to throw it across the room or something, because you know you're really gonna freaking break it. <laughs> so please don't just grab it and chug it on, you know, like, ah! you know, don't don't do that. So, I don't know, if you guys are curious about this, and you already knew about this before, or, you know, anything, um, it's actually quite cool, I like this a lot. Like I said, it reminds me a lot, like, the original, um, Ninja Action one, but a little more upgraded, more detailed. So, I'll see one more time before the neighbors, you know, come over. Or not. Ta-da! Alright, cool. So it does work. That's the whole purpose behind this. So when you buy it, don't think you broke it or not. Playing with his belt. It looks so wrong. And then you got this on the back. It's... I mean, it's, it shouldn't be too much of a, you know, pain. I mean, it's not like, uh, what's that one? Uh, a dragon ride? The foot soldiers? I mean, it's not, it's not annoying as that with that little extra bar right there. But this is pretty cool. I mean, I really do like this toy a lot. One more time. Do it. Get down, dang it. Get down, get down. So. Yeah. Sorry, I'm having so much fun with this thing. I love it. And the head. I thought it was kind of rubbery, like squeezed, but it's not. Uh, the back tip, back of his um, bandana doesn't come off too easily. And it's a little bit stronger plastic on this one, so that's a good thing. I guess we're supposed to have it like this. Anyways, I'm, I'm sorry. So, uh, yeah, this is Don Hell. It looks really cool, I think. Yeah, they had a lot of Don Tells and a lot of Leonardo's, but I'm gonna get my boy. My Don Tell So, uh, yeah, put your comments down to me what you think about this. I mean, do you like it? Do you think it's kind of retarded? Uh, where well, you've been thinking about buying this for so long, but you weren't too sure, and you want to see somebody review it. For sure, there's a lot of people re already re review it. I guess California were the last part of to get anything. So. For some reason, why it just looks like it's slightly different on there, didn't there. Alright. Um. That's my review. Put your comments down and tell me exactly what you think about this toy. You like it, hate it, like I said. Um, that's the reason why his arms seem shorter. But anyways, I hope this review helped out a lot for your information or what you're looking for. If I didn't say mention anything else and you have a question, feel free to write to me. Um, I'll do my best to write back because something's really wrong with my my uh, YouTube channel that won't let me write people back. So I apologize, but I will write people back. Don't worry. So yeah, I do remember one more thing. If you're curious for how big this one is compared to the regular size ones, there you go. It's a pretty big size um, action figure toy. It's kind of the same height. Let's see. Yeah, it's kind of the same height as um, 
one of the Flingers series, so those of you are like wondering if they're small or bigger size. And they're pretty big size actually. So like I said, put your comments down and tell me what you guys think. Alright, so that's my short review. I hope I think it's short. Not too sure. But get your hands on these things. I mean these are really cool. I I like these series. Um those of you are probably like, oh you're just saying that because you're a turtle fan. No, I'm not just saying it. I'm saying it because it's actually really cool and everything. Um if I had to compare, I will have to say these are so much better than uh, f the flinger ones because they're more fun. You know, you could, I guess like I, I wouldn't say, hey, you know, wrap it up and throw it across the room. Don't do that because you will probably end up breaking it. Just drop it around the floor where the the bell could hit, and then they'll probably do a flip and hit your foot soldiers or whatever. But um, I like these a lot. These are really cool. So. Um, yeah, uh, like I said before, I, I'm trying my best to write you guys back, but YouTube is, act on my computer, the YouTube is acting kind of strange because I can't write people back, it won't let me, so I'm trying my best, and I'm on Instagram now, people, so I am addicted to that damn, <laughs> that damn channel, or a page, or whatever, I can't stop taking pictures, like, hey, look at this, ah, you know, so I apologize if you're on Instagram and you're like watching me and going like, God dang, these guys posting too much video or pictures. Um, it's DJ, small letters, DJ underscore acid burn, one word, 30 on Instagram. So feel free to add me right there. Alright, people. Add these to your collection. These things are going to be so cool. And um, I, want, I need to get my hands on more of them now. Like I said, I totally unexpected. I did not meant to even think coming across this and I saw it I was like oh wow okay brand new cool all right I'm just talking along all right people be safe out there take care of yourself and happy hunting everyone see you later okay it's eBay time I had to check it out all right free shipping for the new throwing battle so this package for Raphael this dude is selling it for $34.49. Free shipping, of course. Here's the dude Sonic Red Star. Not much doing. Kool Aid. What the heck? I gotta get my Kool Aid on. But, anyways, this guy sells for that much. And then, let's see. It actually costs $12.99. Uh, nah, total together is $14.06. And this guy wants for over like $30. Bucks. Are you insane? It's in mint. Oh, okay, it just came out. Okay, when they say mint, that means what? What does that mean? It means damage around the ring. Let's see. What else? What else? Damage corners. Oh, okay, that's what mint means. Okay. So, anyways, put your comments down. Tell me what you guys think about this $34, not $49. Or you go to Target, and like I said, it's pretty cheap at the store, people. I don't know why these guys are fooling anyone. Alright. So anyways, that's why we can't put comments down and tell them how we feel about them. Anyways, take care of yourself and happy hunting and yeah, put your comments down.